The history of personal computers is marked by some spectacular successes and failures. But the award for popularity must go to the Commodore 64, a little 8-bit machine that refuses to die. The 64's commercial success and its enormous user base have inspired some software developers to take a second look at the 64's potential. One of those companies is Berkeley Softworks, next to the university campus in Berkeley, California. What we did is we looked at, at these markets, at the Commodore 64 market at first and the Apple II, and basically it, it takes a while for people to really push a machine to its total limits. And one of the things that we really believe in here that the rest of the software world, I think, has only really started to catch on to is using very sophisticated development tools. And the net of all that is we're, we're capable now of developing applications for these machines that I don't think people really thought these machines were capable of, of performing. Berkeley's most important product is the GEOS operating system, a graphic interface for the 64 and 128 that features pull-down menus, icons, and windows. The new operating system opens the door to some very sophisticated applications, like a spreadsheet called GeoCalc, and GeoFile, a database with user-designed forms. There's even a desktop publishing package, something usually requiring big memories and big budgets. But at Berkeley Softworks, it's all in the code. Mainly it's by coding much more efficiently. The I mean, the theorem of computer science is any computer program can be implemented by a one-bit Turing machine. That's actually a, a theory that's been proven in computer science. So even this 8-bit processor is capable of doing all the things that a much more expensive computer, like say a Macintosh or an IBM PC, is capable of doing. Now, it may not be able to do it as fast, although we try to make up for the limitations and the capability of the machine by programming more efficiently. But you can actually do anything with a computer.